Marcus, this is Andrew. And this is Marcus. And we're back once again in Riven. Yay! Um, might we finish all of our quests today? It's possible we yeah. might. <laughs> That's up for you to decide if we can rescue Catherine in time. So we just... Uh, speaking of which, last time we just warped into or teleported into Prison Island. We're inside the dome. Um, to get out, we gotta push this little foot pedal. Prison Island. Uh, Alright, so last time we heard a code of those sounds and we'll notice these are the sounds again. So we need to figure out what that code was. said it was drill, drill, chime, ding, drill. And that will uh, release these bars. And we can go up to the prison proper. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? This is Catherine. This is Catherine. Hi, Catherine. We're all free. You're captured again. Yeah, girl, we got you. still his followers. I'm not sure what I'll do once I realize he's gone. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atris. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. So she's going to... Take care of her people and her things, and we're going back to the f Starfisher. Soon as I get control back. Any time now, game. Any time. There we go waiting for you to become impatient. Um, so that's Prison Island. Now, to go back, we have to uh, open the dome because Catherine left, so that closes the dome. That's what's right spinning again. So we have to open the There's the symbol for Prison Island, which we figured out when we did our guessing check. And we gotta put in the secret code again. Last 
laboratory so we can go to uh, Temple Island. are back. That's alright, because we just need to go to uh, Temple Island. Elevator. Is that device doesn't do anything if we look through it um. that moves it up and down so it goes in the down position uh oh but this little door is locked This was the code we got from the uh, journal in, uh, from Catherine's journal in Moiety Age. And so that code was 33423. Three, three. Oh. Now, this is the uh, star fissure. Which I don't know if we talked about earlier on or not. It's the beginning of Mist um, starts with you, the character, falling into the star figure. Um, and that's how we end up at Mist. Uh, oh. Um, and so that's ties it all together, and that's what's happening on Riven. The reason, one of the reasons it's dying is A, Gin wrote the world, right? He created the world, um, and Gin is not very good, and so his worlds always tend to die. Um, and the way that it's dying is because of this star fissure um, that they've kind of sealed up to try and minimize because it's kind of sucking everything into the void. Um, but this is where Catherine has said 
um, this is how we're going to signal Atrus. So there's a little um, stopper here that keeps this uh, thing from going too far down. Uh, however, we're going to remove the stopper and we're going to force it down through the glass and open the star fissure. Casted your sons into a limbo. Hope you don't like hit us. I thank you. As do I. You've accomplished more than I could have hoped for. You've given me back my life. The path home is now clear for all of us. back and watch the beginning of mist kind of starts very similarly here falling through this void um, but up through the or in the opposite direction now through I that understand. crack endings and beginnings are within the fissure that ribbon cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge and though i am unable to understand how the very flow of stars that brought my mist book into worthy hands I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend. The age of Riven is closed forever, but the people of Riven are free. And now I am at rest, understanding that in books and ages and life, the ending can never truly be written. Said that the code that's in her journal is random every time. I believe that one also is random. Yes. So I'm curious if we don't go and rescue her, we just go and put the code that we find into the thing. What happens? That's a very good question. Um, and we should explore those in a. Subsequent video in which we look at all the alternate endings, because there are a number of alternate endings. We don't have enough time to explore them all, I think, in this video, um, in which you can do things like that. What happens if you don't actually go free Catherine? Uh, what happens if you uh, don't trap again? Um, you know, and some different things. There's some different points when you can kind of end the game without achieving all of your things. And, endings look like is this what we just guys is to be the best ending quote unquote or the most yeah. canonical ending? this is the yeah the canonical ending the correct ending where you've saved them and, and uh, get to go back to our 
regular life, now that we've solved all of Atris's problems? Um, I, I think this is cool. I love, this is a very cool upgrade to the first one in a lot of ways. Just, I mean, atmosphere, interactivity, like, design, like, phenomenal. Um, I do feel that this is a little bit harder to, like, this is definitely a game where you kind of have to take your own notes, because I feel like it's not, the progress forward is always, isn't always clear. Right. And just, like, thinking about, like, okay, like, if I was doing this for the first time, there are certain puzzles you would, like, input, and I don't know if I'd gotten them correct or not, or I don't know, like, if it, if it fixed things on the upside island, so if I wasn't, like, super paying attention, like, I feel it would be very easy for me to get lost. Whereas I think that's where, like, Mist possibly has an advantage over this, where, like, all the puzzles are so consolidated, where, like, it's a little bit more obvious if it's what's not working what you're missing on and then if you miss something it doesn't really interact with the rest of the island too 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 much so it's just easier to kind of go and kind of come back to and be all right sorry about that everybody we had some technical difficulties uh but we're here back on the main screen uh with marcus and we were uh just having our quick discussion about um the gameplay and so i'm going to recap kind of where you were at and what you had said um not sure how much of that we we got or lost but you were saying um in mist it's kind of each island or each age is its own puzzle and it's kind of straightforward um and here on riven everything is kind of tied together and there's yeah. a little number of back and forth kind of elements and it's it, yeah uh it, it just uh I feel like in this one, despite the, the upgrades in a lot of other ways, it just it feels it also you're keeping track um, of it on your own and are playing it kind of in a very one setting. It's it, it's I feel like it's gonna be very easy to kind of get lost as to like what is interacting with what and what you've done and especially now as we talked about like the different endings, like keeping track of what you have done, and not done, unless if it was all kind of in one thing. I feel like would be rather difficult to do. Where Mist is very organized in that regard. Yeah, and I think. Like, and it is a two-edged thing, because I think, like, playing it originally, like, it was very much that point where there'd be parts where it's just, like, I don't know, like, with the um, trapping Gin in the book, like, I didn't think that through and realize, like, oh, you have to go through the book first. Um, so there were um, a couple of different spots where I had to use a guide or something to kind of get through those. Mm -hmm. um, and... In, yeah, there's a lot of things that you don't realize like are going to be important until later on. So if you're not paying attention and kind of keeping track of everything from the beginning, you end up going back and having to be like, okay, what were those eyeball things? Now what do they mean? And um, it, so it, yeah, it has a little bit of like record keeping that it doesn't do for you and you've got to do. On the other side, though, I did. I do like it and I really did like it because it felt like a lot grander and a bigger story and there was more to it than just uh, mist where it was just kind of, oh, you're just kind of exploring these things and it's kind of a little too straightforward and not as interactive. So to me, like mist felt like stale, like all the ages and things like no one lived, you know, there wasn't any activity happening. So you were just exploring like, a kind right. of expired area. And this was, you know, you had kind of things happening and people still living here and that. And so it was a different feel in that. So I enjoyed uh, that part of it, but it was definitely in a different direction and was more challenging because of that, because there was not as clear of how the different puzzle, you know, and, and, and again, and missed like a different age, you know, um, the different ages kind of had themes and kind of some things where you're like, oh, okay, and this one um, we're looking at colors and this one we're looking at sounds and shapes or, you know, that kind of, I know that's um, not accurate, but that kind of a thing where it was like, okay, we're doing this here in the same vein. And here it was kind of everything was all over and you had to figure out how to know what was important. And if you didn't have a nice guide like me, you would have been, stuck there for days I definitely would have been stuck there for days so last little bit I want to wrap up because I don't know um, how much of this is apparent um, 
and not, but for your edification and for those watching, just to kind of give us a whole picture. So Atris, son of Gen. Son of Gen. They're uh, from Dunny, right? Dunny mm -hmm. is the kind of ancient dead civilization that has the art that they write these books that come alive that, be, that are these ages that you can link between. Um, so Gen, not necessarily a good person, like kind of makes ages to kind of play with people's lives and do that. His ages tend to be unstable and fall apart. His fifth age that he made was Riven. Um, so on Riven, native... The theme of five again. What? There's the theme of five again. Oh, yeah, right. And so that's part of it is that it's the fifth age and it's, yeah, it got this big theme of five. Um, the Rivenese... Uh, were native. So one of his more stable early ages um, had it. Atris on Riven meets a young lady named Katrin who changes her name to Catherine and they fall in love. So oh. Catherine is a native of Riven. So when the reason when she returns, all the Rivenese like elevate her and think that she's like special is because she's left the world and come back, and so she has the same powers as Gen, who they view as this godlike figure. <laughs> um, and so that's what threatens him, and he locks her up, and and that whole thing. So um, just some interesting. I, I just think the lore is kind of interesting in the way that all. Um, works and why it's um, why she cares about those people and that why she like went instead of just leaving she's like went back to take care of the rebels and make sure they all got relocated and were safe because um, those is her people what an interesting family dynamic with you know who's quote unquote good versus bad and who's causing chaos with all these kind of demigod ick power to be able to create these kind of ages and whatnot. Yeah. It's, yeah, no, it's very fascinating and interesting. Um, and so these were the, this was Mist and then Riven, the sequel to Mist, um, mm -hmm. produced uh, by Cyan Games. And perhaps we will take a look at Mist 3 sometime. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm enjoying this guy to tour. Hopefully there's more to come. Um, so we'll do it. Mist 3, um, I believe, if I remember my history correct, Cyan had been bought by another company, and they didn't originally have plans to make any other sequels, um, but the another company acquired them and the IP and kind of said, well, let's make another one. And so it's it tries to stay true, but then it's not... Um, it's not exactly in the same vein where you can, uh, these ones are, were made by the same, um, team and they definitely inter interwove some elements and really tried to make a cohesive story here. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned, uh, everyone will get that. We'll also put together a alternate endings video and we'll go through a bunch of the alternate endings to Riven until then, what should they do? Like, comment, subscribe, do the hokey pokey in the comments, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.